Ladies and gentlemen, happy Star Wars Day, and may the Force be with you. And hey, if you want to help save me, Princess Leia style, I'm having a May Day fundraiser with only $1,113 left to raise to save me and Thor News to continue through May. All right. In this super strange outer space odyssey, we are talking about bizarre, sinuous, mystery auroras that were found on Mars by the um, United Arab Emirates Hope Mars mission team. And they're reporting that the spacecraft had discovered a new mysterious Martian aurora. They're calling it a sinuous discrete aurora, a huge worm-like aurora that extends halfway around the planet. Whoa, this is crazy. And I do believe that auroras are partially created by the interaction between an active sun, the sun is always active in some way, and another planet, whether it be Earth, Saturn, Mars, Jupiter. And I consider, I used to consider auroras like the crowns of a planet. So they usually go on top or the bottom. But this aurora is strange because it goes down the side like a snake. But yeah, here we can see that over the last 48 hours, our sun has been super duper freaking out with tons of solar flares, X-class and otherwise. All right, Mashable letting us know Mars's sky gets a mysterious green aurora resembling a giant worm. Huh, okay. And scientists struggled to explain a new Martian light show. We'll try to do that here on Thor News. But I don't know, hopefully I'll tell some jokes. Rather than little green men, the astronauts who put their boots on Martian ground are more likely to be greeted by green streaked skies. Okay, no jokes for that one. Scientists have known for more than 15 years that Aurora's vibrant light shows in the atmosphere exist on Mars. The planet's auroras were found in small spots that seem to sprout from the ground like mushrooms. What? Light canopies they formed are thought to come from what's left of a magnetic field that decayed billions of years ago. Aha! But researchers have just seen a new, gigantic aurora on Mars unlike any other previously observed. They're calling the phenomenon a sinuous discrete aurora, or SDA. To describe its enormous worm-like shape, a glowing twisted band of ultraviolet light stretching thousands of miles from the day side which faces the sun to the back of the planet. Wait, what? This story's weird. A United Arab Emirates Space Agency probe orbiting Mars known as Hope. Please, Obi-Wan, you're our only hope. Took the picture using an ultraviolet spectrometer device. The discovery raises new questions about Mars's atmosphere, the composition of its ancient magnetic field, and the effects of solar wind. The gases flowing off the sun that make up the so-called Space weather. Yeah, it's pretty strange, dude. Because like I said, usually you get them on the top of a planet or on the bottom of a planet. I mean, that's kind of the standard location of the common, quote-unquote, aurora. But no, this Martian aurora is strange. Go home, sinuous, discreet aurora. You are drunk. Or whatever uh, liquids or chemicals or drugs they have on Mars. You see... When the Hope probe arrived at Mars last year, mission leaders soon realized its distance from the planet afforded them an opportunity to essentially zoom out and study the planet on a broad scale. After the first few messages came from the 3,000-pound SUV-sized spacecraft, they decided to home in on auroras, said Hesse L. Matroushi, who heads the mission in a statement. Well, he heads the missions with statements? What scientists have seen in Hope's snapshots was blown them away, said Rob Lillis, a planetary space physicist and Emirates Mission Mars collaborator based on at University of California, Berkeley. Since November, the team has seen several more instances of the worm lights, he said. Oh, okay. Maybe they only come out after the rain. That would be neat. Martian rain. All right. Most people associate auroras with northern lights, a, bright, a brilliant light show sometimes visible on Earth at night near the North Pole. 
A similar effect happens near Antarctica as well. Electrons that are shot out of the sun during solar storms travel through and along magnetic field lines at the planet's poles and the atmosphere interacting with the air. Oh yes, this is an exciting new discovery, and it is strange, and definitely filled with mystery. You see, auroras were mysterious for the longest time on Earth before we understood that they're actually space weather and high energy streams of electrons coming originally from the sun, basically guided by a planetary magnetic field. Lilis told Mashable, whether it's Earth or Mars, those electrons smash into the atmosphere and they cause the atmosphere to glow. Oh, that makes it sound sexier than it should. But I guess if you want to try and get tons of people to go to a dead planet, you got to add some romance and mystery into it. Electrons always follow magnetic field lines and can't wander off course. Asterisk. Don't tell electrons what they can do. So why then does this one region of Mars' sky look like a meandering, twisted worm? There's something funny going on with that magneto tail, Lilith said, referring to the complex array of magnetic field lines behind Mars. We don't understand what's causing this yet, or what's causing such a high flux of electrons to be on those particular magnetic field lines. Can I just say Martians, maybe? I don't know. I still think there's a chance there's life on Mars and they're just hiding it really well. What if Martians created cryptocurrency? That's the mystery researchers want to solve using a combination of spacecraft run by the UAE space program, NASA, and the European Space Agency. And I guess SpaceX, if they ever get anything over there. We don't understand what's causing this yet. I wonder if they're going to have free speech on Mars if they and when they do populate it. One is NASA's Mars Maven mission launched in 2013 the other is mars express an esa mission that began operations in 2004. i'd like to take time out to point out that there are other planets like mercury and venus and jupiter and saturn and uranus and neptune even like eris and Ceres. like to have so many spacecrafts at just one planet is weird both probes are observing the planet from a close range sometimes swooping by at less than 200 miles away the UAE, Hope, is much farther out, with its lowest point being more than 12,000 miles away. Its distance gave the Emirates orbiter a distinct advantage. For the first time, scientists had an unprecedented overview, overview of the planet and its atmosphere, revealing Mars at a different times of day and through different seasons. Seasons always change. Lilith suspects that other probes may have taken pictures of the tiny parts of these massive worm-like auroras before they only were able to capture tips of the iceberg, so to speak. It's kind of like in Dune. You know how the whole story is based around worm poop? All right, that was a dumb segue that led to no funny joke. The next step in the study will be for NASA and ESA orbiters to take measurements of the electrons moving towards Mars during a turbulent solar storm when they are in the region of worm like Aurora. At the same time, Hope will take pictures of the lights. That would be the real holy grail. If we could get simultaneous measurements of both cause and effect. Hey, related video, Mars will kill you in ways you'd never imagine. That must be why Elon is so excited to get humans to go there. I don't know. All right, so this has been another interesting Martian adventure through Thor News. Now that looks, this video looks interesting. Yeah, all right. And if you'd like to support Thor News, science, astronomy, space weather, earth weather, um, planetary defense commandering, you can make a contribution and a donation. I got a mailbox you can send to, a PayPal, a Venmo, a Cash App, a Patron, and only $1,113 left to raise for the May 2022 Thor News fundraiser. But super duper thank you to Asteroid Fight Club and absolutely thank you to Tyler, the Texas Angel, Patricia, Alexis, Lauren, Barbara, Glenda, Arnica, Light Soul, Dan, Marlita, Brian, Ann, Max, Teresa, Ricks, and 1988. Everybody stay cool and have a great night. Talk to y'all soon. And may the force be with you always.